right welcome back guys Oak Scythe here so I got the G body back huh so today today is gonna be a uh, full of fun 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 I'm gonna replace the uh, head unit he's got a friend's got a CDE 143BT doesn't um and he's gonna and he's gonna, gonna replace a EQ. I think it's a DS18 uh, EQ seven band. That seven band, um, and he wants it out. So, Epic Center, it's a couple kicker tens in the back. I got to put the zero gauge to the back, which is what I'm gonna do today. Put the amp board, um, and find where I need to put the rivets. Whew. I already have a, the relay and the circuit, circuitry all set up, just kind of all behind the amp board for the for the C2400 that I'm putting in, replacing the DS18. I think it's a, like an 1800 max um, monoblock. I think it's a 800 RMS, maybe 700. RMS. I already did the big three on it on a previous video, and what I have to do now is just that zero gauge um, put the the quick disconnect on because he wants it on that amp board and then uh, he dropped a bombshell on me saying he wanted the four channel because we I'm also putting the two uh, three and a halfs in the dash and I got I, he got some uh, well I told him some meso silk dome tweeters really nice I like them they're they, they sound great so everything's gonna be Everything uh, as far as speaker wise, aside from the tweeters, it's gonna be Scar. And he's got the, is it the TX? And I'll, I'll show you those later. The six by nine is replacing some Polks. Um, not sure which Polks they are. They looked all right, he doesn't like them. So they're gonna be just uh, for, I think he crosses them over pretty high. I think he's at like 150 Hertz up is what he plays. Which is uh, which is good. I'm gonna check the settings, run some pink noise to see where he's at, uh, and then I'll try to recalibrate it with the new head unit. So stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming. All right. So it's, what is it? Three pumps. One, two, three. tones wow wow that's all the way up or it's a potentiometer all jacked up oh my god I don't know anymore all right disconnected the power this is the kind of mess I'm dealing with here so all these RCAs are getting replaced. All this crap is getting replaced. That he's told me is sold. And this one we're gonna use for the three and a halves and tweeters. Wait, no, yeah, no. So that might be a little too much, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take this out and put it in the back of my app board. Eventually first gotta take that out and put the rivets and let's go. All right, so some of these wires for some of you that don't understand the difference between CCA and off C copper clad is typically um, cheaper, very inexpensive. And this to a the naked eye without really looking into it looks like as if it were copper, not copper clad. Copper is what you want. It's much heavier, but you can tell if you bring it in and you see that that looks shiny silver ish that's an indicator that it's copper clad not only is it um that way after you cut it but it's very light all right rivets added uh i advise you to use a very um not a steep step drill so that you don't make the hole too big or else it won't have enough grip and once you start putting the screw on there, it'll it'll just start spinning. It'll hold, but it'll spin. 
And that was my mistake. I was using these step drills instead of going one at a time, uh, making sure uh, that it, it's gonna be snug when you put the the inserts in there. So lesson learned, but these are these are good. These are the 5 sixteenths. I'm gonna put the screws, bolts, and I'll be set. All right, so there's a, um, this is where the power ran. I had to put a grommet. It's at a weird angle. So you gotta make sure you go in and, well, it's got a curve right here, right? So you have to put a grommet and you have to make, expand this enough so that uh so that it can hold and well it can accommodate the grommet and accommodate the wire uh use this you know to push it in and get it done right filed any extra extra um pieces of metal and it does come through so behind here it comes it goes up from you can actually see the wire right here. I don't know if you can. Yep. Comes up and comes around. This is it right here. This one. And down there. So I did use a little bit of, of Dawn, like I had mentioned before, because of the friction and the, the weird angle it goes, but just a little bit to reduce that friction and get it through there. It comes, fished it around. It's coming around and it goes into this plastic uh, shield, if you will. Going back through there. All right, so we got the ground and I found the spot behind the seat. Here's the ground. It's on the chassis, see? Good times. It is freaking windy. It's got short pieces of metal in my eye. Anyway, so it's right there, and it'll go right behind it's this yay long, um, but that's where you want to put your ground. Perfect spot. All right, now it's RCA time. Grounds, power done. I have to go through all this, take that out, figure out what all that mess is. And here's where the remote and RCAs are at. So... There's one of my few steps gonna go and see what all that. I think it's the alarm. Oh man, I don't want to tap it with the alarm. So here it is. Take the face off. I'm about to pull that out. All right. Uh, well, let's try to figure out what all this is. And this is. Scary, my God, what the fuck? Sorry. Let's, uh, let's figure something out. All right, so this was, oh, I can't see, this is power. This is turn on and this was ground. Looks like there's a tap here for the power and the turn on is right here connected to that. Also, I guess, uh, yeah, this is what this is. So this is this is the uh, remote from the head unit. And this one, they, they went to remote in um, the DS18 seven band EQ. And this is the blue wire that's running to the back of the vehicle. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be replaced. Uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'll redo these, I'll recrimp. Redo them, and this new one is gonna be the the turn on going to the back, um, and that turn on is gonna be on a relay, so that you're not messing stuff up over here, pulling too much, too many. I think it's only 500 milliamps, which is um, half an amp um, that you can pull from the back of that head unit, and you had you had that unit you had the epic center and then you had the two amps in the back that's too much that's just way too much it's four things um i tap out at around two possibly three but that's a lot um you don't want to do that just use a relay 
and this crap. I think I could salvage most of this, and we're not using head unit power, so I'll just put, split those apart. Um, I wonder what the rest of this crap is. I'll find out. Look at that. That's horrible. You don't do that. So. All right, it's Sunday morning, and what do we have left to do? <clears throat> we ran the power, the ground, ran these speaker wires, put the glove box back in, put the new stereo in, cleaned up the bird's nest back there. Now I have to run the driver's side um, speaker wires and go from there clean up some of that stuff but it's minimal minimal stuff now